Hey everyone, this is 8-Bit Flashback back again, and I've had a bunch of people ask me what image I've been using for my Raspberry Pi builds. So I'm going to do a quick overview on this image and give you some details. This is a 32 gigabyte image, but I use PyShrink to shrink it down to 28.5, so this should fit on most 32 gigabyte memory cards. So what we're looking at right now is the main menu. Every time you load it up, it's going to boot up this menu first, and this is where all the emulators are kind of organized. So I used a couple different themes to compile this image. For the main menu here, this is a Novato theme. I even made a custom splash screen for this image, so let's go ahead and reboot it and check it out. Once we're done loading up, it's going to go right back to the main menu here. So for emulators, I got Arcade Classics, uh, Neo Geo, the Sega Master System, the Sega Genesis. Sega CD, the Sega 32X, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Also, we got the Atari 2600, the Atari Lynx, the Famicom, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, TurboGrafx-16, and the RetroPie menu. So this image does work for Pi Zero, Pi Zero W, and Pi 3. I personally tested on all three of those and this image does work. Although on the Pi Zeros, there is a little bit of lag, but it's still plenty usable. The lag in the Pi Zeros is on the larger 3D games and a little bit in your menus. You can't quite scroll as fast in the menu as you can on the Pi 3. So let's go ahead and load the emulator Arcade Classics and take a closer look. This is a Novato theme that's modified and I've got the artwork there. We got the screenshot plus the artwork on the top of the arcade machine. Some of the artwork's missing, but there's thousands and thousands of files to choose from here, and it's still probably 98% complete. So most of these games work pretty good on the Pi 3, but on the Pi Zero, it's kind of a hit and miss. Some of them work, some of them don't. It's just kind of the capabilities of the Pi Zero. Uh, same thing for the Neo Geo. Um, most of the games work for Pi 3, but for Pi Zero, there's some issues. Uh, for the Sega Master System, it works good for both Pi Zero and Pi 3, and I've got some video snapshots. Uh, box artwork and the titles there and this is a robo spin theme that's modified and I've got this robo spin theme from a forum and I'll try to post a link down below uh, same thing for Sega Genesis got the same setup there with the, the video previews and this works good for both the Pi Zero and the Pi 3 for Sega CD there's not much going on there there's only a couple things there that's because most of the games suck for Sega CD uh, for Sega 32X I've got video snapshots box art and then I got a cartridge for the game titles there. For the original Game Boy, we got the box art, the video snapshot, and the game cartridges. For Game Boy Color, I got the video snapshot, the box artwork, and the game titles. For Game Boy Advance, we got the same setup. We got the video snapshot, the box artwork, and the game titles there. For the Atari 2600, we got video previews. We got the game titles and the box artwork. And I didn't do video previews for everything because there just wasn't enough room on this image. I tried to cram as much as I could on there and the video previews were taking up quite a bit of memory. For the Atari Lynx I got video snapshots and box art. And for the Famicom I got some box art and screenshots. And I pretty much had to go through every single game and change the title so everything matched up and synced together. It was a pain in the butt. For the Nintendo I got the video previews, box art, and game titles. And same thing for the Super Nintendo, the box art, game titles, and the video previews. And also, same thing for the TurboGrafx-16, box art, video previews, and game titles. And here's a look at the RetroPie menu where you can do all your configurations, set up Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. And more than likely, you're going to have to configure a controller when you first start this up, and you might need a keyboard to access that menu. I'm using a wireless PS3 controller, and I'm just going to hit the left trigger now, and that's going to take me back to the main menu. Another thing I wanted to mention is that this image is already set up for an on-off button. It's got the script already pre-installed on the image for a momentary push switch that you hook to pins 5 and 6 on the GPIO header. One more thing I want to show you before I get out of here is that if you go to the main menu and you exit a track mode, it's going to take you to RetroPie's version of Command Prompt. If you type Emulation Station one word, that'll take you to Emulation Station, which a lot of people are more familiar with. So when you install RetroPie, Emulation Station is what's already on it, so a lot of people are more familiar with these controls and menus. But now that I got a track mode set up, I'm not really a fan of Emulation Station no more. But I just want to show you this if you want to access it. So I have all the same emulators in here, but 
but it looks drastically different as you can see. But that being said, this is still a pretty nice setup. All the emulators still have some artwork in them, but they're not near as fancy as the attract mode. And another thing I want to mention before I forget, if you're installing this on a Raspberry Pi Zero or W, uh, when you first install the image, it may reboot one to three times before it loads up all the way. And I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, when I put it on the Raspberry Pi 3, it loads the first try. But after the image boots up a couple times, it does load up all the way finally. At least for me it does. So to get back to a track mode, you can either turn the system off and back on and it automatically load into a track mode, or you can exit out of the emulation station. So I'm going to access the main menu here, go down to quit, then go down to quit emulation station, really quit yes. Then from here I'm going to type in attract, and that'll take me back to attract mode. Well thanks for watching, this is 8-Bit Flashback. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click any of these links.